we have a special experiment to show you. What happens when you think you're awake behind the wheel, but your brain is going to sleep? Drowsy driving is so serious in this country. There are now criminal cases in half a dozen states threatening jail time for people accused of being too sleep deprived to drive. ABC's Ron Claiborne wants to show you what happened to him. My eyes are open, but what you can't tell in this experiment, I'm actually asleep. Every day, an estimated 250,000 Americans fall asleep while driving, like this woman who was videotaped seemingly nodding off at the wheel in Denver. Sleep deprived drivers are blamed for thousands of crashes every year. But many times, it's not that obvious. Scientists say there's something called microsleep, where you can fall asleep for just a few seconds without realizing it, sometimes with your eyes open. Hi, I'm Ron Claiborne. We travel to the Liberty Mutual Research Institute outside of Boston, where they study microsleep. Microsleep is a very brief transition from wakefulness to sleep. And it can last up to maybe 20 or 30 seconds. You're awake and suddenly you're asleep. I agreed to take part in an experiment. I would drive while sleep deprived. To mimic the condition of people who do not get enough sleep, I stayed up all night. Almost been up 24 hours. At the lab, I was hooked up to a brain wave monitor. I thought I could handle the driving. I feel okay now. Then I got behind the wheel of a minivan on the lab's closed track. I'm feeling pretty worn out. Right here, my eyes are open, but I'm asleep. And here too, this is what micro sleeping can look like. At one point, I did doze off. That was not good. Finally. Fuck. Yeah, I'm done. I knew I had dozed off a couple of times, but what was stunning, I'd actually micro slept 22 times and never knew it. So what was going on inside my brain? Yes, this is evidence that you're falling asleep. My eyes were open, but see how these lines are becoming more jagged. That's sleep coming on. And these lines show my blinking is getting slower. I'd micro slept for three seconds. If I'd been driving 60 miles an hour, I would have gone the length of a football field asleep. I was in a real twilight zone the entire time, and it was scary. 22 times you and, dozed off? And I remember two. You only remember, remember two. two. What a lesson this is. But what about caffeine? You lower the windows, you put on the music. You, you know, I asked the experts that uh, turning up the window, turning up the music, putting down the windows, yelling to yourself, that doesn't work. Caffeine will stave off the sleep for a while, but only for a while. It is not an antidote. It is not the solution. Is there any specific signal that should let you know that your brain is going to sleep even if your eyes are open? No, Diane, that's the insidious thing about this. There's no way of knowing, no way of predicting you're going to be too tired. If you are tired, you are too tired. Get off the road, take a nap, do not drive. And again, hundreds of thousands of people are out there on the road with this. Thanks so much, Ron.